Ari Brickers, just want to start today's video by saying a massive thank you because of all of you who have been using my discount code on Speed and Parts. They have sent me an absolutely huge care package. So thanks so much to everyone who has used my code Drift Bricker for 10% off on Speed and Parts. And I've also been able to get permission for that discount code to continue running. Uh, so fill your boots, guys. Use code Drift Bricker on Speed and Parts. Get your 10% off on everything on the website. So let's get into exactly what Speed and Parts um, has sent me. I was able to pick they said kind of fill your basket fill your boots and we'll just send it out here so let's get on with actually what i have got firstly as you can see here um one of the main thing that was missing from the build the last really big purchase was an exhaust system so we've got the whole lot here i just got an entire three inch exhaust system so there's there's quite a lot of universal parts here uh what i'm going to do is to do this all of this justice because it's such like kind of a pleasure uh that i've been able to get all these parts i don't want to ruin it by stabbing away and i'm um, doing the kind of welds that i can do which is not very good my mig, MIG weld is terrible um i can weld i made the last exhaust system it was okay but it took us hundreds of hours and you know there was a few pinhole leaks here and there it it served as well i did two years of drifting with it um, but I'm going to leave this one to the professionals. So I'm going to send the car off uh, to Stellar Performance, local to me, and they're going to make this exhaust system. So um, they've already made my log manifold. They already uh, made me a whole downpipe as well. So we are going to go from the downpipe back over and let's explain exactly what's going on. Firstly, I've got these awesome uh, three-inch v-bands connections so i can pick where i want them i know i'm going to have one at the end of the uh at the end of the downpipe which there, at the moment it's just um open like it's an open pipe there's no connection there so that's going to be the first one but i just wanted to try to show you these v-bands because first of all the quality of the the fitting is really good like the the nut and i've seen so many different v-band fittings in the past where just the quality wasn't very good of the stud of the the notes and they're often cross-threaded quite a lot so you can tell straight away that the quality of these is so much higher than the ones that i've experienced before but these are self-sealing as well so if you can see that there there's kind of a, a rib around the inside there and it just slots in so if you can see there it just slots in and um, so that's going to create a perfect seal so first of all that's really cool so after the downpipe and probably my first v-band connection i'm going to have my 200 cell sports cat so we're going to have a catalytic converter and it's going to be in the stock location of where the cat was from the factory which is just after the downpipe so we'll have a bit of a straight section we might have a few little bends there and then we are going to approach the rear axle. So just before the rear axle, I'm going to do a similar thing as what I did with the system that I made, where I had two two inch um, pipes, but I had a cut out, two cutouts, and at the press of a button, the cutouts open and bypass the rear silencer. So here's my plan. So we've got the wire in here and we've got our little throttle body which is electronically actuated uh so we are gonna uh, where have i got my y pipe I've got a y pipe here so the y pipe is going to split off this will require modification because this is i think too close and we need to you know uh point down over so this will form the basis of it but everything's going to get modified by stellar performance basically uh, so we have this bypass and basically when this is open the exhaust gases will just go straight down just before the rear axle um, i might direct it uh out out before the wheel or something like that but basically uh yeah we're going to be able to go super loud so the only silence there really will be the sports cat when this is open and when it's closed off this Y pipe, so we'll have one which goes through the, the bypass valve and then down to the ground. And then this one will go up and over the rear axle. 
Now, I've got... Ah! Everything just run away. I've got an actual 180 uh, bend here, but I've also got a U-bend. Again, this was all from Speed and Parts. A U-bend as well, which can go over the rear axle. This is too shallow of a bend. So, stellar performance, we'll have to either modify this or this and make the U-bend over the rear axle, especially when you lower a brick. Uh, the lowered bricks, the rear axle goes much higher up uh, into the body. So you really need to hug the underside of the, the body uh, with the U-bend in order for it not to hit when you go over bumps and stuff like that. Because if you have a stock exhaust and then you slam your brick to the ground, you'll know that bit. The U-bend over the rear axle on a stock system will just rest on the rear axle. And then every time you go over a bump, it'll just jump and then smack down onto the axle and you hear a big bang every time you go over a, a bump. So I'm um, hoping stellar performance is going to uh, make a U-bend over my rear axle, which will be okay. And then after the U-bend over the rear axle, uh, we will have our silencer. So I've got just a three inch uh, in and out uh, silencer here as well. And then we have our, finally, uh, four inch tailpipe. I just thought three inch was a bit too small. I like to keep the tailpipe the same size as the exhaust system. That's maybe just a bit of a, a pedant, uh, me being a pedant, uh, but I generally like tailpipes to be the same size as the system. Um, but on this occasion, I've gone a little bit bigger because I, I just think it gets a bit lost um, with a three inch. So yeah, I've got an extra inch bigger. So we've got a three inch to four inch uh, rolled tip tailpipe, which should look pretty sick. So yeah, that, that is kind of the whole exhaust system. Um, we've got some wrap, uh, carbon Kevlar, like wrap stuff for the, uh, for the downpipe, which I still need to do. But yeah, basically that's the, the full exhaust system. So on what else I got from speeding parts, I wanted a few things that was going to last us a long time, kind of be a bit sentimental because it's kind of the first time, obviously it's the first time I've had a sponsor, but it's the first time that I've, you know, been gifted so many things. Um, so I wanted to pick something, not just, you know, random sundries, but we've got some racing shoes from QSP, um, size 10, fit perfectly, super comfortable, little tire tread on the underside as well. So these will be perfect for when I'm drifting. Uh, I'll be able to feel the pedals nicely. So some nice shoes. And also I got, which you may have seen on Instagram, I'll put a picture up on here. We've got some, um, overalls like racing suit thing again this is qsp lovely and this is a lovely fit as well so hopefully we'll get some uh, patches ironed on here for future sponsors or maybe my current ones as well uh speeding parts particularly uh so we'll you know really look the part with them um right uh also while we're on the qsp so we've got our boots we've got our racing suit we also got um, a racing harness, so I, I believe it's the three inch wide in blue uh, a racing harness. It's a six point harness as well, so it's a serious bit of kit. Got a few other little bits and bobs from Speed Parts as well in these bags. So, firstly, Turbo Smart. So, I've got a Turbo Smart wastegate actuator, which obviously I got from Speed Parts a few months ago. Uh, but that came with a one bar spring. I don't want to run one bar, which is 14.7 PSI boost um, on wastegate. I think that's too high. So I've got myself a Turbo Smart 7 PSI spring. So ideally, this will turn down the boost on the wastegate uh, from, you know, the one bar spring now to a 7 PSI spring. So the idea with this is uh, I am electronically controlling my boost. So uh, wastegate on 7 PSI, which I'll have a, as a nice kind of safe uh, map on 7 PSI. And then we'll use the electronic boost control to turn the boost up to 10 PSI, 15 PSI, whatever would dare. I think once we hit 350 horsepower, the M90 gearbox is not going to be happy. The engine is really is going to start not being too happy. So I think we're going to... Uh, you know, see how the horsepower is, but mainly like 300, 350 horsepower. But the thing is with the electronic boost control is you can't decrease the horsepower, decrease the boost from wastegate. So 
what you do with the electronic boost control is run a softer spring, run lower boost from the waste gate, and then increase it using your electronic boost control. So, turbo smart spring. Also, speaking of um, electronic boost control, I also from Innovate Motorsports um, has got a bracket here, a bracket. Uh, and this is just to mount, make the mounting of the boost solenoid um, a bit easier. So this has just got, um, like, saves us making something out of al aluminium myself and figuring out how to mount my boost solenoid. So um, that'll make that mounting very easy. Uh, may or may not be in this video, the mounting of the boost solenoid. We'll see. Um, and we have a couple of um, connectors, electrical connectors. So I've got one for my fuel pressure uh, sensor, which is on my uh, spin parts fuel pressure regulator. Um, and we have the electrical connector for my e-throttle. So this is the electrical connector for the throttle body as well. And... I don't know if it's here, but I've also got a depinning tool. Oh, it's on the floor. Uh, tool 1967. So this is a little red gadget from, uh, this is a Max ECU branded. I don't know if this will focus in, but it's a Max ECU depinning tool because I've got particularly the exhaust gas temperature sensors, the individual ones. Uh, that I need to remove from my my wiring from the plug. So I need to deep in uh, all of those wires. And I think there's quite a lot, uh, maybe 16, 18 wires altogether that I need to deep in from the connector. Um, so this little tool will help me do that. Um, and I think that's everything from uh, that I got from Speed and Parts on this particular delivery. And as I say, this was the first one that was sent gratis, absolutely free, because of you guys using my 10% off uh, code, which is Drift Bricker. So thank you guys, thank you Brickers, thank you very, very much. It took over a year um, to get over the line of the, the threshold to, to get all of this stuff. So I really appreciate all you guys that, that use my code. So let's get on with some fettling, eh? We have our pedal bolted in, saves effort, saves time, saves money. We're moving. 